All right, good to have you back again. And on this segment, we're going to look at uh, online reputation management. We already have a guest joining us in the house, and he is uh, mm, Mr. Celestine Archie. Mr. Celestine Archie is the CEO of Digital Pure Wire. We'd like to welcome you this morning. Thank you very much. And you're looking very happy this morning. You really want to tell us um, what, what are you really even doing here in Anambra State to start with? Um, well, um, as you can see, like I mentioned um, during the Digipreneur Week, um, this is the first time any state government, even in the federal level, not just in Nigeria, but in West Africa, that a state government is recognizing the input, okay. the impact and contribution of ICT to the general GDP. Mm. And it is a way of growing the economy and taking the state to the next level. Okay. Yeah, you were saying something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we are here um, under the invitation of um, the SSA to the governor on um, digital entrepreneurship. Okay. And they are trying to empower the youths. Okay. They, they want to create wealth and also ensure that the youths have one or two things to contribute okay. to the economy of the state. I, I, was, I was actually um, at the occasion yesterday, at the event, uh, the Digipreneur that, was, that took place at Stanel yesterday. Now, you were there. The aim of this program this year, what would you have to say to the, the young youths in the state? One, one takeaway to the young youths of the state is um, today will be um, the practicals on different um, dig digital preneur skills. Okay. Okay. So today we are impacting them with so much skills in different um, levels of entrepreneurship mm -hmm. digitally. Mm -hmm. So apart from training them, we are also empowering at least 500 of these youths who are, sh who are, who are able to show the passion and interest in acquiring one or two digital skills. Okay. So we are empowering them with digital tools to take them to the next level. Because I that see. is actually the theme of the um, Digipreneur Week. Okay. Yes. Like I said, we're going to look at online reputation management, which is the practicing, or I mean the practice of crafting strategies that shape or influence the public perception on an organization, individual or other entity. Yeah. I would like you to throw more light on this. How do you do that? For online reputation management, the first thing that you actually think of is how do you listen in to the conversation? Okay. Somebody somewhere is, is saying one or two things about you. Hmm. And when you talk about online reputation management, then you think of bad press. And when you have bad press, the first question is, how do I ensure that I get it in real time? Okay. So we have a tool called Digital PR Wire. And Digital PR Wire is able to tell you who mentioned you where, what basis, is it positive, is it negative, is it neutral? And if it is negative, it gives you an advice on how to remediate it. Who mentioned you where? Online. In any of the social media? In any, beyond the social media, even in what I call the dark social, mm. which is the WhatsApp group. It's okay. called dark social. Yes. Okay. So whenever you are mentioned in a negative way, okay. it gives you an alert. Look, this is negative. This is what you can do. And therefore, we have what's called search remediation. With search remediation, you are able to suppress every negative comment. So how do you get to know who mentioned what? Like if somebody mentioned me on a negative, how would you know? One, your name, whatever. Sorry, what's the name? Ijoma Uche. Fine. So if I mention Ijoma Uche on Facebook, it gives you an alert and say, XYZ mentioned your name okay. on Facebook, on Twitter, on WhatsApp group, on um, Twitter, and what have you. Okay. And it tells you if it is positive. It tells you if it is negative, okay. it tells you if it is neutral. If okay. it is negative, that means it's bad press, okay. and you have to manage that reputation. Okay. Okay. About looking at, looking at um, um, the, this topic, online hey, reputation. Is this supposed to be a channel or what? Uh, on the online reputation management, uh, you've got the blog post, social media review, uh, branding success. Okay, all these things make up the online reputation. But what do you think is the biggest misconception people have about online management reputation? The biggest misconception is that they think Google is just a search engine. Okay. Mm. But Google has gone beyond the search engine to becoming a reputational management engine. Mm -hmm. So whatever Google says you are, is who you are. And that is why we all 
have to ensure that our digital footprint is clean and clear. Okay. Because if I want to do, if I'm an investor in the U.S., I want to do a business with somebody in Anambra State, the first thing I will do is do a search on you. Mm. And whatever Google tells me you are, if it's Google says you're a looter, you're a looter. I can't do business with you. Mm. So having a clean slate on your digital footprint. And if I'm a looter, how would they Google know that I'm a looter? <laughs> if he has a blog and mention that you're a looter, even if you're not a looter, is there that you're a looter? Okay. And that is why you have to manage your, your reputation. And then, if it has been managed, they call. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if it has been managed, it is, it is either suppressed or taken out entirely. So you talk about the management. How do we go about that? Because when you, you, you're talking about if you have a blog okay. and someone says you are... You are Online reputation management. Services. services. Of course, these are the various um, 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 social you know, sites and social media. Yes. Yes. But now you're talking about managing this particular um, reputation. If someone actually posts something negative, you know, on the blog and Google picks it like that, even when you are not, how do you intend to clean up yourself from that mess? Let me tell you, let me give you a, a five quick process. One, like I said, is social listening. Mm. Okay. Okay. And there are different free tools out there. Apart from Google Alert, we have brand24.net. We have socialmention.com. We have mention.com, okay. okay, and apart from digital PR wire. Now, social listening, so you have to, first of all, know that somebody has said something bad about you. Okay. The next thing is, somebody has said XYZ is a looter, and you know you are not. So okay. what do you do? You pick a keyword. The keyword is your name okay. or your brand. Okay. So using that brand, you populate your positive content across board. Okay. We call it optimization, content optimization. Mm. Okay. So as you populate your content, it is suppressing the bad press. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. The other step is you could actually engage whoever has posted this thing, especially if it's not true, and threaten the person with labor. Okay. That automatically drops. And that's the second. Then, yes, the third one is that you can actually report the issue to Google. Okay. Google has a reporting component, mm. especially if you, are, if you have... A Gmail component on in your, in your, apart as, as, your, as your platform. Okay. You report the post as long as you can prove that it is not true. Google takes it off. Okay, and the fourth and the final one. And the fourth and the final one is using reputational tools like digital PR wire. Okay. They clear and take off any negative comment online. Okay, so I would like to find out why is it that the small businesses and SME they don't bother about this? Can this be applied in business marketing? It can, and I can tell you right now that at least in Nigeria, I mean, most M MSMEs and SMEs are embracing reputation management tools okay. as, as, as you speak. Really? Yeah, really. Hmm. And uh, down here in Anambra State? Down here in Anambra State, I'm actually surprised because Anambra State, um, I mean, I was expecting um, states like Lagos, <laughs> the FCT, and what have you to be doing what you are doing in, in Anambra. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with with what is happening in Anambra. And I, I think they need more projection, and that is what you have they to do for them. Especially <laughs> our politicians. Can exactly. They use it? How can they use it? I mean, the politicians, because in fact, during the campaign now, people will want to be running on that. They need, it, they need it more. So how? How? The, how, one, is to ensure they get the right tactics. Mm -hmm. Okay? I understand you have a, a training institute here. Yeah? I don't know whether it's only for um, 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 productions and what have you. But I think it's one thing that uh, you should look into having an institute that can actually train politicians on how they can manage their That's why we're talking to you. So we know <laughs> that we uh, are through this program, uh, Digipreneur. Yes. So how, how far, so far? So far, if you want to learn all these things, I think um, you should be at Standard World today, okay. starting by nine, mm. to actually learn how these things can be done. So is this, is this um, training and skill acquisition free or? Is it's it... totally free. It's Courtesy totally free. of the Anambra State Government. Oh, this is good. Totally free. Totally free. You have heard it yeah. wherever you are. You want to join in this training. It's at uh, Stanel World. And it is free coming from the Anambra State Government. We must... You know, the government said that this is a nation in a nation. So we must, <laughs> we must grow out of this nation, I tell you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very you. much for coming. Uh, that's um, Mr. Cletus. I mean, Celestine. Celestine. Actually, sorry that's about that. <laughs>
<laughs> You're going to get me there. <laughs> get me there. Okay, you're the CEO of Digital Prayer Wire. Thank you for coming. Thank and you joining very much. Us this morning. You. Okay. Yeah. You will right. come again it's, because it's, there's a lot to talk about. It's, this. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's great to have you. At least I know that the, the young youths of the States will be happy with, you know, what's, what's really happening at Standard World. Mm. At least for the few days you're going to be around. Yeah. So many thanks for coming. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thank you, Abele. That's who gets it to yeah. give you the 9 o'clock news. Yeah. And then uh, the sports that will be coming after the 9 o'clock news. Do stand by, please.